Hi, welcome again. So what you're looking at here is not some sort of alien world uh, created with Unreal Engine, but this is a set up a smart mask so we can uh, spawn grass and maybe change uh, material in a very interesting way. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, I'm going to open my open land default theme so I can uh, start tweaking these values. So I'm going to search for maybe I'll show you first. So let me arrange this a little bit. All right. So I'm going to scroll down and there's a section called smart mask. So basically we have three smart masks. We can enable them. By default, they are disabled just for the performance uh, sake. So you don't need to spend any cost on anything that you're not using. So that's the whole purpose of this. So when you click smart mask one, so I'm going to enable that one and it will show up some of options like these and um, these are this look quite long but don't worry they're very easy to understand easy to do so i'm gonna filter out of sm1 so i can only see the stuff i wanted right now so let me expand a little bit all right so now we have more space to work on all right my first goal is right now to add some grass on this uh hole uh on the on the, on the, the slope side and uh, not on the ground but on the slope add some grass so that's my goal and let's try to do that uh, with a smart mask so we have first we have the debug mask intensity basically i can do this so basically it's a it's a help color so then you can change the color of course uh, to like help me to decide the mask so i'm gonna turn that on this is the threshold so basically i can increase that so this is where the mask start so i'll keep it zero so because i want to go other, other way around so here direction so it's currently one i'm gonna tweak it down to minus one so i'm gonna select this so right so far so good so then i might need to have more edge smoothness maybe not i'll keep it default so we, we can tweak later on okay we have slope control so i need to select the only the slope not the bottom so what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna reduce the this slider a little bit down so basically i, I select the slope area yeah this is about this is about right and then i need I need the so spawn grass but on random locations so here we see we have something called area noise so we have something called edge noise just keep it like this for right now just focus on the area noise section and then I increase the intensity all right looks good I have some noise but seems like it's um, I need to change the area so that's happening is because we have some smoothness edge smoothness I'm gonna reduce that so then it will grow like this yeah this is good but still this this is the noise is too much what i'm trying to do is i'm going to search for the area noise section here we have tiling options i can increase maybe i can reduce it maybe not i'm going to increase it like this i'm going to keep the default but i'm going to change the sharpness a little bit down okay this is about right maybe i can increase the contrast yeah it's up to you like yeah i think this is this is nice yeah, this is what i want so we have the mask on and what i'm trying to do is now i need to add some grass here quite easy i'm gonna save this theme and i'm gonna go to my content open land and the grass directory so i'm gonna select gt underscore sm1 so this is the grass type related to this smart mask so we have two and three as well okay i'm gonna this one i'm gonna create a new item i'm gonna add some grass over here so here I have already downloaded the open world demo collection. It, it has a lot of cool grass and yeah, a lot of cool assets. Just, just use that. Uh, that's my default thing when you are doing some demos. I select this and I'm, I'm going to add it here. All right. It doesn't show me anything. Uh, that's right because I need to zoom a little bit. Okay. Then I need to increase the size maybe three times. Maybe this is two times like x and y directions okay so i'm gonna put the player right now okay yeah this is about right but i think uh, i have this uh the background color with that's the debug color we choose so this is the, my uh, mask and i'm gonna reduce the debug intensity to zero yeah this is my grass over here so maybe i need to have grass over here that's not something with the the mask itself but that's something with the grass type so basically we have the culling distance on uh, it's about 10,000 I guess by default but I need to increase this to maybe 30,000 
that will fix that issue because I need to copy that here as well. Start at the end. Yeah, that's about it. So, so we maybe it's too much grasp, but we can control these parameters and get the look and feel what we need. Uh, maybe I can add some other graphs, but you get the idea. So we can do pretty cool stuff with this. So we had some grass over here. I need to add some snow on the mountains. So let's do that. So for that one is the smart mask too. Okay, I'm gonna enable that. And I selected default options, okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna increase the threshold a little bit more. Mm, yeah, this is about right. And then I'm gonna increase the smoothness a little bit. Yeah, let's keep it like this. And then we have a section called edge noise intensity. So I can crank this up. Okay, now we have this sort of like noise over the edge. It's basically based on the Perlin noise. You can see you can change the texture, any texture you want. And then I might increase the smoothness, maybe 15,000. So then I can have more. Yeah, this, is, this looks nice already. Hmm, maybe I will simply use the debug mask color because it's just a color as my snow yep this is my snow like i don't need to do anything else like this is this is the snow so i can put the player i think it's too much brighter but you get the idea okay now what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna do some modification to the ground here using the other mask and i'll spawn some flowers maybe okay i'm gonna turn this on all right but i'm gonna select only the ground area for that one it's quite easy I need to only select the flat area. So I'm gonna crank this up here. So I'm gonna select only the flat areas here. Okay, yeah, that's about right. You can also tweak this value and yeah, get a feel, but I think this is quite fine. Uh, edge smoothness, I'm gonna reduce that because I, I don't want to smooth anything right now. Okay, and then what I'm trying to do is I'll, I'll use area noise here as well. Okay, and it's too little, too little, and I'm gonna, yeah, do something like this. Maybe it's not too much. I don't know. Okay. So now we have this. Maybe it's too much. So I can uh, play with the sharpness and contrast value and get something I want. Okay. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to turn up the debug intensity color. Here I'm trying to modify the material. We have a section on the bottom called modify material. So I can uh, change the brightness, contrast and change the tint. So here I might increase the brightness a little bit. Yeah, like this. So basically, this is what I want. I, I increase the brightness a little bit. So this looks like this, okay? Yeah, that's what I want. And now I need to spawn some grass over here. It's quite easy. So I'm gonna open my SM3 grass type. That's on the open land grass directory because this is the third mask. And I'm gonna add a new item and I'm gonna get the grass and put it here and just like the earlier I'm gonna scale it a little bit so we can see them and I'm gonna put my player here so we have grass on here and there so so since this is a grass type you can add anything yeah you can add flowers trees maybe maybe let's just add a tree it could be fun Okay, well now we have three. I need. I don't need this much density. I don't know what will happen. Okay, anyway, let's try. Oh, it's just too much. Let's put it one. Yeah, it's maybe let's let's crank this a little bit. Maybe ten. Maybe not the jitter density. Yeah, we spawn some. Uh, I mean, like I need to change the culling distance to something like maybe hundred thousand. Okay, that's the start and this is the end. Okay. All right, we spawn some trees. And what's happening here is he's coming here and there. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna align to surface. I'm gonna turn that off. All right, cool. Now we have spawned some trees according to this mask. Yeah, you can see now we have spawned uh, trees in a random way. Yeah, quite interesting. So you get the idea, like you, you have three masks to play with. You can uh, change a lot, a lot of things in your material and do crazy stuff. And uh, right now it's just three masks, but technically possible to add anything. You can also do that. But if you want more masks, just tell me and I'll, I'll, I'll add them. And if 
I'm going to add some more features to this one. Right now, you, you cannot uh, change textures, but I'll add that, that soon. So you can use the existing layers, landscape layers uh, as a textures. And, um, and we have some distance based blending right onto this mask. So we can do pretty cool stuff uh, with this mask. So uh, yeah, I'm looking at the glass type, but I'm talking about the mask here. All right, uh, so see you soon with something cool. Bye.